Hello everyone, this is my voice reveal. I love my voice. Up to you to see if you want to hear it again. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about the 1% pets and where I'm placing where I place them in my opinion. So, these are the 6 1% pets we have in the game at the moment from floor 4 update. They added a new one. So we're going to talk about it just a little bit. So these are all the stats on 4% pets, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so my placing for each one of the pets. I'm going to start off with 6th place here, and we're using Shiny Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Not sure how to pronounce that one. But... This one here only gives, so this one here does give coal, EXP, and potion boost, which is all really good. But I would say that you're mostly after damage or something like that. Damage, armor, any, a lot of stuff like that. Plus there's a better pet for getting coal and EXP, and the potion isn't too useful for a while. It's useful, I guess, but it's not... Like, you're gonna full-on need it the whole time. Instead, I would suggest to use Shiny Master Kirito. Because he's got a better coal boost and a better experience boost. He's just better for a lot of reasons. For getting, well, just money. And getting ex ex experience. You'll probably need that more than Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi... You, yo guy. Uh, okay. For fourth place, I'm had a hard time for a little bit between two characters, but I'm gonna have to pick Shiny Master Asuba Asuba because the speed boost is useful, but it's not like you need to be fast in order to fight things and kill things so in my opinion i would say fourth place for shiny master asuba again potions are not going to be your main thing that you're using they're not going to be too useful and an experience boost is still really useful i would suggest that experience boost is still useful enough to use her and for the boost i would say just getting from where you are to where you need to be for mass for third place i'm gonna have to go with shiny mass shiny dual wield kirito because speed boost plus eight percent you also have a chance like a two percent chance to get um two things instead of one while picking things up off the ground which is awesome so material wise you would want to use shiny shiny dual wield kirito also, he's got a 10% attack boost, damage boost, so that's extremely useful. And he's got 8% coal boost, which he is very good. Now, between these two characters, I had a really hard time picking. Like, they're both really good, but we're going to have to put... Uh, if I had to decide, I'm going to have to put shiny uh, fairy Asuba in second place i'm sorry if a lot of people think that she is the better one between the two but i am gonna have to say that the only boost she really gives is passive healing yes it's very very good the passive healing but i do not say it is the best after all if you're fighting a boss you're gonna want more health than I guess, yeah, the healing would be useful. So I'm still having a hard time deciding those two. But in general, I'm looking for more damage and health and everything else. For first place, we're going to have to put Shiny Allison. Armor boost plus 10%. So that's plus 10% more HP. As well as she gives more damage boost than Master than Shiny double, Dual Wield Kirito, which is very good. And which is 12%, so it's 2% more. As well, she does give still a speed boost, so I do suggest her. 
Alright guys, that's all for this video for today. Do like, subscribe, and comment if you want to hear my voice more often or anything else. Murder on call with the five nine. Twenty years in the same like a lifetime. I've been hanging every day from a lifeline. Why these fuckers say that dinner every night?